And the next thing we need to do involves two inch hole saw. All right, what's up everybody? Uh, Rock Bucket Motoring. A little bit different view for y'all today. Um, temperatures down in the uh, upper 50s. And uh, yeah, Jan is uh, Jan's pretty much done riding for the year. Uh, she'll still ride on my big bike uh, because I got all the fairings and everything. And I'm big and I block a lot of wind so she doesn't get as cold. But there is uh, no fairings on this bike and a little bitty windshield. So today we are getting it ready for storage. Yeah, there is uh, no power in uh, in our town right now. Uh, the power was on when I left home. But uh, yeah, the gas station, the bank, yeah, everybody, uh, ain't, there's no power. It's truly amazing how many people do not understand that a traffic light that is out is treated the same as a four-way stop. I can't understand how so many people that have a driver's license don't know that. Look at this, just people rolling. That was, uh, that's one thing we did that's not standard on the 2019 Softail. When we changed out to the uh, to the LA Choppers Twin Peak 10 inch bars, since we were running wire anyway through the bars, we went ahead and bought the cruise control switch and went to, uh, had to take it to the dealership of course because of Harley tax and you know pay for them to turn cruise control on in the ECM, but so worth it to be able to take your hands off the bars and ride down the road. sits lower than me so yeah it ain't bad there generally I'm a huge fan of uh, I've always done it uh, of changing the oil and everything before you put the bike into winter storage um, with this motorcycle um, it had its break-in service done about 200 miles ago 250 miles ago so I'm not going to be doing that with this one this time um, ain't no point of draining out brand new oil to put new oil in it because well that's just dumb but yeah i checked the tire pressure this morning before i got it out um going up to uh put some stable in the tank and people looking at me because i got a gopro <laughs> going up to put some stable in the tank and uh go for a little ride get that ran through the fuel injectors a little bit and uh yeah i gotta stop at the bank uh, transfer some money around but that's neither here nor there but uh, yeah other than that um, get it home get it all tucked in uh, got to get some power ran over into the uh, into the trailer there the um, motorcycle trailer uh, where we store this bike 
Um, so yeah, gotta figure out a way to get power into that into that trailer. All right, guys. So as you can see, I don't have a garage. Um, this building's not big enough for both of our motorcycles, so we have to actually put one inside our trailer. Um, my touring bike has been in here for years, ever since I got the first one. It was actually the reason why we bought the building. But, as you've seen in our Bring It Home video, Jan's lowrider actually sits inside the trailer. Um, it wasn't a big deal when we had the Sportster to store it because you could take the battery out of a Sportster extremely easy. With the lowrider, on the other hand, it's a whole different animal. You actually need to, well, there's a lot of shit you gotta do to get to the battery. So, today, we're gonna get power from my building over to this storage trailer with an RV plug that I ordered from Amazon. That way, God damn it, open. I don't have to worry about coming out here and opening up the trailer and charging her bike you know for you know a day and then closing everything back up this way we'll just be able to uh, leave it all plugged in and for that we need the two inch hole saw I'd be lying if I didn't you know say that I'm a little nervous about drilling a hole in my all aluminum trailer but it seems pretty easy. I already punched a pilot hole through. It cut through really quick. So, all right, let's get to uh, drilling this big ass hole in the fender. <music> Two inch hole. I'm so excited about that. There it is. Punched it through the hole, or put it through the hole in the wall. Got it all bolted in. Got to go to the hardware store and get some silicone. But we got power in the trailer now. So hardly burying the battery under the shock. I appreciate that. Thanks for making me drill a big ass hole in my trailer. But uh, yep, she's ready to go now. All right, it's all gassed up. Got the stable in there. Then left the bank. We'll head home now. See if the power's back on. That ought to be interesting. But uh, yeah, put the old uh, put the old low rider to bed. Wait for spring. I know she'll be ready. Never had an issue leaving one on the battery tender. Stay bill in the gas, pull it out in spring, she'll fire up every time. So, it uh, definitely a good thing.
may have popped that one before I even got the clutch in. That ain't healthy. This is a 107 bike, but it is 260 pounds lighter than my road glide, I believe. I could be wrong on the numbers, but realistically, who fucking cares? But, uh, I mean, for a Harley Davidson, it's pretty quick. Sport bike guy's like, what the fuck is that? But yeah, for a Harley, it, uh, it runs pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. So, if you like this video, go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. If you uh, haven't done so already, consider hitting that uh, subscribe button, tap the bell notification so you know when we upload, and we'll see y'all in the next one.